Hello darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corley and today I present to you my computer customization video. This is maybe more of like an aesthetic video than like a practical, practical video. If you guys want me to do something like more practical about the apps I use on my computer, you know, things like that, I can, but I do have a video on organization coming soon. So before we jump into the video, I just want to say that my computer is in French because it accommodates my needs better for university and everything. So certain terms are going to be in French, but I'm trying to like translate on the voiceover so that it's more easily understandable if French is not your first language. So don't worry, it's like everything I'm doing is super easy. The controls are going to be in the same place. Also, if you guys saw my last vlog, not my last video, my last vlog, I mentioned that the computer I received was broken, da da da, yada yada yada. Basically, Apple gave me a new computer because I received like a dysfunctional computer. You know, it was just like not working, so they just replaced it. So that's fixed. Now the computer's working nice. She's really good. She's working overtime right now, so I can film this. This is just like a short video for entertainment purposes, right? I just want to show you guys what I did, how I organized my things on my computer, and how I make it look all pretty and like me i guess let's get onto the video darlings first step to customizing is changing the wallpaper i basically made this wallpaper by myself like a grown woman what i did basically is i created some funky shapes with rainbow shades then i hit the gaussian blur on procreate and i lowered the saturation and that's basically how i got this wallpaper if you guys want i'll leave a link uh, down below you know now i'm not gonna lie this is kind of extra and maybe unnecessary for some people but i also created some little icons slash logos for each and every single one of my folders on procreate so i'm gonna replace every single folder what you do is you click on um you know like see the information on the little icon of the folder and then you're going to copy the image that you want to copy and paste it onto where the folder would have been and basically i did that i have an archives folder i have a university folder i have a social media folder i have a finance folder and i have this one the one that's called conduit that's driving so for the driving classes because you know a pretty girl like me don't know how to drive so yeah What I'm doing is just removing uh, everything from my desktop that shouldn't be on my desktop because I am of the belief that nothing other than your essential folders should be on your desktop. This is something that I've enjoyed for so, so long. This little post-it app, I don't know what it's called in English, sorry, my computer's in French, but this thing right here, this is gonna be your lifesaver. I love that you're able to put post-its on your desktop and you can hide them and save them when needed because literally, you always go back to your desktop. It's something you're always going to see. If you go on your computer daily, you're always going to see the little post-its and those are gonna be able to remind you what you have to do, your video plan for the month. I'm talking to myself, my video plan for the month, my things that I have to buy list. I love finding things to buy that I know I'm gonna find on Amazon because often, you know, when I'm on my computer, I can just quickly go on Amazon and purchase them. But yeah, basically anything you feel the need to write can be on your desktop and just remain there. So I think that is magic. For your viewing pleasure, but also mine, I'm gonna make the little icon of the folders bigger because, Miss Girl, sometimes you don't wanna be 
scavenging i mean okay there's like five icons so i really will not be scavenging but you know what i mean i just wanted to look neat and nice so it took me some time to find it but here it is and um it looks much better darling This is very, very trivial. I would like to remind everyone, this is not necessarily a practical video, rather a video of leisure, okay? So I'm gonna change the little profile picture that appears once I log onto my computer. So you're gonna go in preferences, then you're gonna go in the little users thing, I think, and then you're gonna see me, hi, I hope y'all are doing great. But yeah, I'm basically going through my millions of photos of myself, as you can see, there's probably a lot of embarrassing things in there. And I selected a cute little picture that I could have so that when I open my computer, it's not just like a strange vinyl because that's what there was. So yeah, selecting a pretty picture of myself. You can do the same. Turn, turn, turn. Now we're gonna hit the Chrome extensions. I literally, okay, this is really funny because I canceled all my Chrome extensions because nothing was registering to the new computer. So I had to cancel everything and then just put it back on. So Momentum is the main extension I'm gonna install. My best friend, show one of my best friends show, she showed this to me literally like three years ago when I first got like my first computer and I love this thing it gives you like a really pretty quote a super beautiful background and it says good morning to you like I love this and good afternoon when it's the evening anyways um I like extensions like honey honey works really great for me but I have it on safari and I shop on safari way more than google chrome so you know I'm not gonna put it there but just saying Okay, I don't mean to brag, but I'm a very organized person. So what I'm doing right now is sticking the remainder of the documents in my downloads, as well as the documents that were just hanging out in documents and placing them into one of my ultimate five folders because I just want everything to remain where it is. But like I said, like I'm very organized, so there was almost nothing for me to do so um yeah but i feel like updating it and organizing and cleaning up your computer is also like a part of customization that's important please this is so random but i was checking to see if um what is it called essential anatomy worked on the m1 because you know like some apps might not work anyways it worked so that's fun but uh yeah it's that's it <laughs> This is it guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also comment in the comment section down below other video suggestions or things that you'd like to see me do. I'd be willing to do a lot of things. Um, just, you know, keep it cute if you like me, my personality, or the content I put right up on YouTube, then feel totally free to subscribe to this channel. I usually post beauty and study content, but now it's summer, so I'm not posting study content at the moment, but you know you know you know how it goes thank you guys so so much for watching this video again i appreciate it very very much and i will see you in my next video goodbye